do you have any wishes and expectations for the Chinese uh, Communist Party on this special occasion? Well, I would say yes, keep going. Communication between uh, the solidarity and progress and the CPC of the past years. Could you give us a brief introduction? Well, I appreciate uh, the Marxist and Confucian roots of the Chinese Communist Party in engaged in the great renewal, the great revival of the Chinese nation. In uh, 2017, the year of our presidential election here, I sent congratulations, <coughs> a congratulation message uh, to the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, now I am about to write one for the 100th anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party. Members of the movement have many times traveled in China, including myself in Chehan, uh, on September 2019 for the Euro-Asian Economic Forum. Uh, I gave recently an interview to Tsinghua uh, on May 25th of this year, uh, expressing that the quality, the main quality of the Chinese Communist Party is the love for Chinese people and its commitment. I must add that I have a special relation with the small French city of Montargis, uh, where the uh, founders of the Chinese Communist Party met in 2020 and 2021, including Deng Xiaoping, who has a monument there now celebrating him and his comrades. Uh, the European branch of the Chinese Communist Party was created in Paris in 1922, and President Xi Jinping visited all these places when he came to France. Probably from that interview, we saw that you've highly appraised the influence of China's scientific and technological progress on the world, also including France. So, um, what changes do you see CPC brought to China? And what else do you see potentials in cooperation between China and France? Well, we have already a cooperation on, on, on the space, on two satellites, FOSAT, which is an ocean observation satellite, and the other one is VOM, which is a satellite which observes the gamma rays produced by the supernova when they're extinguished. We have already cooperating <clears throat> in with an assembly line of planes in Tianjin, which is the only assembly line abroad of Airbus. Uh, and also, uh, we, are, we have a cooperation on uh, the research on thermonuclear fusion and uh, rapid neutron uh, reactors. Uh, we are also cooperating in the area of uh, uh, conceiving and building smart cities and dealing with waste management. Uh, also water management with our company Veolia. So we have also a cooperation and it has to be developed on bi biology and medicine, with in particular the treatment of old people. That would be very important for China, it's very important for France because we have a problem in demography. Uh, Chen Yu, Chen Zhu, the Chinese uh, health minister between 2007 and 2013, has supervised the creation of a genomic center uh, institute in Shanghai, and much more can be done about that, and I think the operation should increase in that area. Finally, it's culture, and the Chinese culture, the Chinese poets in particular, should be better known in France. We should work for that, because there is, except for sinologists, these poets are generally quite ignored. So, the Chinese, auth the French authors are more known in China than the Chinese authors in France. So we in France have to work to make these poets, these authors known. I think about Liu Bai, of course, Du Fu, or also my favorite, uh, Xu Xi, and uh, which is the highest form of convergence of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. And now. Uh, that was the Northern Song Dynasty, the great success, the great progress of this Northern Song Dynasty. And now China is reviving this and giving to that, with a socialism with Chinese characteristics, it's giving to that a reverse, a renewal. Okay. 
you, you know a lot about Chinese culture. You, you said a lot about poets and um, famous poets. So what makes you fascinated by Chinese culture? Well, it's a sense at the same time of individual and the community, the both together. Uh, and uh, it's a culture of the family. And at the same time, the family is a state. And also, President Xi Jinping is conceiving now that the family should be a world family in a win-win system with connectivity and inclusivity. So I think that's extremely important for the future of the world. Thank you very much. You've mentioned a lot of uh, cooperation between the two countries in different fields. Uh, we, um, we want to talk something about China's Belt and Road Initiative, though France is not yet an official part of it. But we see the China-Europe railway, or we say that China-Europe freight trains do pass France, which played also a very important role in transporting medical supplies and stuff during the pandemic. So what's your attitude towards China's BRI? I gave many presentations in France on this. Therefore, I absolutely think that France should join the process of the new Silk Road officially uh, and uh, develop its capacity to together with China, to cooperate for the future of the world to come. Thank you very much. And uh, we make this interview is actually on the occasion of CPC's 100th anniversary. So um, do you have any wishes and expectations for the Chinese uh, Communist Party on this special occasion? Well, I would say yes, keep going. <laughs> uh, and this is a very interesting point that has to be understood in the West. Uh, Communist Party committed uh, to a generous love of the Chinese people and nation. I hope that the CCP, the CCPC, and the Chinese people would play a key role in a new global system which is coming into being for the common good. I, it won't come overnight. It's a rather long and serious process. I would add that China and the Communist Party of China should continue to look with their eyes committed to the future, for not only the well-being of us all, but also for a dialogue of cultures to create the basis for a new renaissance, a new world renaissance in addressing the common aim of humanity, of mankind.